good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is there, YouTube. Um, I am just driving to go get some food. I mean, some um, salsa at this moment. We have made it home, back home safe and sound. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to say this video that is being played right now that you guys are watching right now, um, it, I am mostly not in it. I am filming it. I am the filmer. Um, my friend Wolf, he is the one talking and interviewing these people. Um, yeah, a lot happened while we were at this festival. More drama and chaos than I had anticipated. Like, I anticipated drama and chaos, but nothing like the way it is or was in Texas. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to clarify that none of this, that all this walking through that you will see of us going into the festival and into the fairgrounds after it is shut down. Like, let me clarify this. It is after the fact that the festival is shut down. Only VIPs can go in there. Like, people with VIP passes and whatnot can go in there and staff and, yeah. So, roll the clips. Here you go, people. All right, what are we doing? Um, put this in your pocket somewhere. That's not what we're doing. <laughs> We're gonna go get food, and we're gonna go interview people and uh, ask them what they think about the festival ending early, because this is insane. Oh yeah. Put this a little closer to me. We were supposed to what? Stay for like two two more days. It's two more days, right? Um, today and then tomorrow and then. Off. Yeah. Okay. So two more days, including yep. today. Yep. Yep. Okay. Smile. Supposed to be a full day of festival today. Full day of festival tomorrow, and then Exodus be Tuesday evening, Wednesday morning. All right, let's go. All right. Hopefully my shoes dry by the time we get back. <laughs> yeah, they might. They should. We'll look for a window open. Ask people in cars. <laughs> so I want to get people in cars. Because they're leaving. They're all yeah. leaving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to talk about the festival? We're interviewing people about what they think about leaving early. What do you guys think? Do you mind if I film you? Here. They're okay with it. Awesome. If you guys have anything you want to say, this is your chance because it's all going on YouTube. Yeah, I don't mind at all. I mean, we were partying like hard the entire weekend. So, like, this is just like cutting us off early. It was a great eclipse at the very, like at the very end, so it was just kind of like a good, like good goodbye. So I can't be mad about it. It was a great. Eclipse, so I'm happy. That's cool. Yeah. That's good that you guys are happy about it. Yeah. Yeah. It is. It is what it is. You just kind of have to accept like how things go, you know. Oh yeah. Sweet. We're gonna keep moving. Sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. What'd you guys find out? We're uh, we're interviewing people about what they think about the festival ending sure. early. Do you want? Do you have anything you want to say? I mean, first night, I had no idea what the f was going on here. <laughs> um, walked till 7 in the morning trying to find my camp. Uh, the rest of the days were pretty chill after I knew where to go. There oh, yeah. you go. Yeah. But I think it was wicked and wild. I heard on Reddit there were so many overdoses they couldn't get anywhere uh, that the sheriff shut the f down. That's, really? That's yeah. why. So that the sheriff that shut it down. The sheriff, not, not the insane. actual. Yeah, my what, God. it wasn't the weather. Nope. Interesting. No, no, what weather? What weather? No, what weather? <laughs> Interesting. I didn't see any overdoses I, though. I, like no, I didn't see any. I saw a dead dude, and he, they were pumping him and freaking out. Where was? I, I had fun. Good. I'm glad. Oh you yeah. yeah. I'd do it again. Here, <laughs> pass this around. Anything you guys want to say about what you think of it ending early? Dude, we're uh, we're interviewing people. What are your thoughts? Uh, it sucks, but it's good that we're getting a refund, and uh, we get to go home a bit early, so that's good. Did you hear how much the refund is going to be for? Is I have it? no idea. Maybe one day. One day? Yeah. They also did a pretty good job of emailing everybody early, so no one uh, loaded up on their favorite party favors and then had to drive home, so that's good. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys got any thoughts you want to share about leaving early? Uh, dude, I fucking love you. Love you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm eating a croissant, but I think it's a little bit sus because the weather is totally fine and like, like it, he said, it's Texas and they should be prepared for a little bit of rain. So I think this is, I think it's a little sus. I think there's like something else, like weather seems like not the actual reason right? why they're closing. Right? It's like a bad excuse. I'm staying tonight. I don't feel like driving. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, Fair. They, like, there's a lot of people that are spun out. It's straight up not safe for yeah, them to leave. Like, it's like, absolutely ridiculous what they have done, having all these people leave their resources. Like, call, I mean, this is savage. Yeah, I cannot believe that this is the way that this is being managed and handled. I have been working in festivals and productions for 20 years, oh, wow. and I've never seen something this mismanaged, this poorly designed, and this poorly executed. It was super fun for many people and I'm glad that it happened but I'm also highly disappointed in the culture around the just the trash and everyone's disrespect to the land and the property um, I was really blessed to meet the best friend of the owner of the property and I got a real rundown of the four year preparation that it took to get this property here to the state that this could be and I'm just really I'm honestly blown away that this is Texas deserve better Texas deserved better. I think everybody deserved better. And I hope that this really puts a... I honestly hope this puts a stain on festival culture. Because this is... And this is unsustainable. And this is not what I worked 20 years of conscious festival development to have this be our legacy. I've actually been speaking out extremely vocally and aggressively against it. And uh, yeah, that's really how I feel about it all. And I'm not leaving early because we brought the sound system. So we can't leave. Yay! Yeah. But we will get out of here someday, somehow, and uh, yeah, I really hope that Texas loves us, even though this was savage. I think especially with the state of the economy right now that like most people could barely afford to do this and people came out here really wanting and seeking a reprieve from the savagery of just life in general mm -hmm. and I coming here I just walked 40 minutes to get over here and I can tell you that I saw about two smiles on the hundreds of people that I walked by and that is sad and tragic and I really just yeah my prayer is that if anything comes out of this that people see their shadow side and they see the way that they can do better and I yeah I just pray that I pray that we all just can do better because I know that we can yep. yeah 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 yep. thank you so much for yeah. what you're doing hey, really what's your it. name Misty Fair Misty Fair yeah I'm Wolf Wolf nice, nice to meet you. you yeah nice to meet you as in the microcosm, so in the macrocosm. Why the fuck did LS Dream not play? I know it's not because of the damn tornado. We actually broke the <laughs> I'm really disappointed. We looked at the weather and it's 95% chance for nothing. Only 5% chance for tornado. I wish they would have at least waited and to see how the weather fared, at least until after the eclipse. We, we There's a lot of love and light here, but there's also a lot of other stuff going on. Um, just appreciate a better festival vibe for family and for friends, you know? Yup. I said around. Why was there no EMTs at the <laughs> dance oh, safe? The, the comment? I seen yeah. somebody yeah. having a seizure at Subtronics and oh, was security was just thing? standing yeah. around him and doing yeah, nothing, calling for EMTs. My, my it took 45 boss, minutes for somebody to get he help from a heart attack a, like on, on Friday. Bottom, right? This is yeah. not cool. Yeah. Like, we're supposed to be able to rave here safely, plur, all that, but they don't give a about the ravers for real there was no narcan on this site at all like you had to bring your own it's crazy wow that's insane. ridiculous right wow i was unaware of that yeah that's insane we went up to the med tent and they refused water it's like you know we're deep really yeah they had water yeah they had water and they said it was only for patients Wow. Aren't we all your patients? Aren't you taking care of all of us? We are. Yeah. Well, and if you're having an incident where you're like, I am too dehydrated to get to the water, can I have some, please? Yeah. That's their job. I well, was over the water here. actually started tasting really bad because yeah. of the heat, the dirt, and the plastic in the, in the hydro pack. That, so, and I heard that they were using lake water. They were using lake water? I was we told that rumors. by uh, rumors. I didn't hear from staff mm -hmm. or anything, but it tasted like fucking lake water. Sure. Wow. Wow. And so like the there's there's a big mix of people who actually did come out here. You know, the burners, they're totally prepared for this kind of thing, but people who paid the money they uh, 
and they're not that kind of festival goers, you know. That they yeah, like the glampers. Yeah, yeah. And they you see goers. Two suitcases, and they weren't like prepared for it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you expect to be, you know, taken care of. And I heard the the artist didn't even have like the artists were told that they were going to be taken care of. They only got like one hundred and fifty dollars worth of like camping gear, from what I heard. Um, and they were just like not treated right. They they had, like a food fifteen dollar food voucher wasn't wasn't even enough to cover like a slice of well a slice of pizza maybe. A slice of pizza was twelve dollars. <laughs> that was for the artists, isn't like the people yeah, who performed. Yeah. The, the, the performers, got, yeah. yeah. They were told they, they were food. supposed to come here and get. They said all food is included. They were gonna get glam, glamping and all kinds of like extras. They didn't get. Wow. That's insane. Um, were any of you guys at the Oregon Eclipse? We had some friends there, but so, not, not us personally. I was there at the Oregon Eclipse. They had, for everybody who worked at the festival and volunteered, and like if you worked in the festival in any capacity, they had like a giant mess hall that was like huge, like the size of a circus tent, huge, with like a buffet of every kind of food you could possibly imagine, including vegan and non-vegan food, all like farm to table, fresh organic unlimited as much as you could eat yeah and and it was it was amazing and i i volunteered on one of the last days and i got to go in there and eat with people and i was out of money and hungry and it was like wow this is what a festival is like wow yeah. and this this whole good. thing has just been like a shameless money grab it has been it sounds like whoever you know whoever threw the last one really did care about their people that was the owner of symbiosis who died wow yup yeah, this, this was such a letdown in many ways. We had such high expectations. This was supposed to be such a magical, maybe even a, a trip of a lifetime for us. And you know, now it's like, there was some really great highlights, to be fair, but at the end of the day, this is probably one of the worst festival experiences I've ever had. Wow, and you've been to a lot of festivals? I have. There was still a lot of love here, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but. yeah, I had a great time as well, but the vibe felt off, you know? Like the whole time it's like, this isn't what symbiosis is supposed to be like. And I heard that symbiosis only built the sun stage. That was a thing as well. And is that the people who were throwing secret dreams? Um, I'm not sure, but they throw symbiosis festival and they hosted the Oregon eclipse and their name was like huge on the flyer for this. So I assumed they were hosting this. They only hosted one stage. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I could tell that the Earth stage this year, I went to Oregon Eclipse too, and the Earth stage was kind of like lower budget. You could tell it was mm -hmm. kind of like country fair. Mm hmm Yeah. Yup. You guys got anything you want to say about having to leave early? We're making a video. Sure, why not? Yeah, here's the microphone, man. Thank you. What's new? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's a little unfortunate, but what can you do? It definitely, uh... I don't know, seems slightly auspicious. We got to be here for the eclipse at least, and we had clear skies for that, you know, but it's uh, probably better safe than sorry in a situation like this when you have so many people. And with this kind of landscape too, with this kind of clay, I could see a lot of people getting stuck if it did, you know, end up moist. So, slightly unfortunate, but it is what it is. And the rest of the weekend was a blast, so I feel like we squeezed enough in those days that we had to make up for the lack of one today. Could be worse, all things considered. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Yeah, yeah no worries. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Back thank you. Mm -hmm. You heard of 15 people died. What? Yeah. 15 people died. Yeah, that's what he heard. No, uh, Supposedly. Suppose. <laughs> Since I'd buy it. Wow. I was just saying, I didn't realize these were hot Cheetos. <laughs> you guys got any thoughts you want to share about having to leave early? We're making a video. Have what? About having to leave early and the, the festival ending early? We're making a video. Leaving. You're not leaving? No. Pretty on. Yeah, we paid to be here. Our RV can't get picked oh, up this yeah. <laughs> I, yep. just, I, I felt safer, like, hunkering down here than trying to, like, get out on the road. And we have to do an outcast. Yep, yep, yeah, that's, so, that's... Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're just going to ride it out. we got plenty of water and food and everything. And, I mean, the storm keeps, like, clearing and passing. Yeah. We got we got movies and pasta dinner waiting on us in the RV if we need to. So. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, party on. We're making a video about, you know, like, what do you guys think of having to leave early? Do you guys have any thoughts you want to share? About leaving early? Yeah, about it getting ended oh. early. 
<laughs> I have a story. <laughs> I got something to tell you. <laughs> no. I have no idea. I'm just like... I don't know if I'm shocked. It's just been straight chaos since the start. But like, as to be expected, I mean, it's just like... The fact that they even got this land to begin with is pretty cool. The fact mm -hmm. that they can get something like this big for 50,000 people to see the eclipse is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. That we could throw something like this and it came together and we got to see the eclipse. Yep. Yeah. The clouds cleared. Yep, that was so cool. I got to see the eclipse. It was so, so cool. And, the comic. and uh, I, I respect that they like tried to alleviate a little bit of like the madness because like it could have it could have been madness if something did happen with like that thunderstorm like i know that like it says it but like god forbid they didn't say anything mm. and it's mud and it's chaos and then people are like you know are like it's already really bad traffic it's already really, really bad backup like yeah you don't imagine if it was muddy people would have lost their minds <laughs> yeah. like it's already madness yeah so i respect it and i respect the people that are going to keep a renegade because a renegade is definitely happening yeah so. yeah Oh, yeah. We appreciate you guys. <laughs> I don't know, it seems a little sketch. Weather seems all right, a little windy, but you know, nothing we can't handle. Yeah, it doesn't, it's like, like, I'm like, where's the storm? <laughs> He's my kind of weather, man. There you go. Did you guys, did you, like, how do you feel about like, you know, the cost of tickets and stuff and it ending early? I heard they might give a partial refund, but I don't know if that's true or not. You think I, think, I think the cost is chill. I think it was just, a hard place to throw a party. Really hard place. Mm -hmm. Very unfortunate deaths. Security bailing out. Did you guys like a, did you hear like, about multiple deaths? A, yeah, yeah, yeah. Multiple deaths. It's just a rough issue, and I think they just had to pull the plug before the plug got pulled. Yep. Crazy. So I think. The sky cleared up for the eclipse. I'm so I got to spend that. it with some really cool people up on this hill, which sucked the hike up and down every day, but. Mm -hmm. Super beautiful. I didn't, it's not surprising, honestly. Uh, the management for this fest was kind of just to start with if you just follow the paper trail. Uh -huh. But I mean, I did what I could while I was here, had a good time, saw the eclipse. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so very start, first and foremost, no signs anywhere, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, they started figuring it out, right? More paths started popping up. But day one and two, you could sneak straight past security at Earth Stage entrance, or sorry, Earth Village entrance, if their gate was even working. Yeah. Uh, if you made it all the way towards the quarry where Earth Stage was, they weren't even checking people. Like, there was no security there. Dude, and imagine if like somebody came to shoot the place up. Or, you know, like... Yeah, like... <laughs> because they did a horrible job searching the yep. cars. And, and then people overdosing and shit. Like, I wonder how the bad drugs got in. No, yeah. You know? Oh, my... Like... They... The reason... Mm. So, they chose really horrible gate hours because it was it was noon to 8 <laughs> or 10 or something like that, like, uh -huh. each, each day, which caused huge strain on traffic outside, so they were rushing to get through people through the lines and whatnot. Uh, they opened up, like, I got here Thursday. I wound up in Alamo, which is a ridiculous place to wind up for showing up early. Uh, like, they, they literally just opened all of a sudden the line, and there were no parking spots. Like, it was just a free-for-all. Like, they, they had to get people through super fast because they're like, we're causing too much traffic. Mm. If they just did it like any other fest, any other fest, like Electric Four and whatever. Thank you. They open at midnight. Like that mm -hmm. day, you can enter at midnight. Like, yep. sure, you'll be setting up your tent in the dark, but like, it is an all day, like, you have people. It's not just mm -hmm. a small window of time to get what wound up being more than authorized amount of people through. Like, yep. When I, when I went to the Oregon Eclipse, we came in at midnight and it wasn't a big deal. It was awesome. And it was like, festival! Yeah! And like here, it's just like the vibe has just been different, you know? like I mean, it's for, for the people at least near me, we all kind of like, a lot of us showed up at the same time, like early. So we're like, this sucks, whatever, but let's just let's just figure it out. It, it will get better. And we vibed, right? We, like I said, we saw the Eclipse from the top of this hill, like, great view. There were no, like, we could well, just look around the sky and it was just... 
And that's the thing is like, it's impossible to not have a good time with the vibe because it's us. We are the vibe. Yeah. We are the vibe and we're not swag. Like the fans of the Eclipse are awesome. Like, you know, it's such a big an awesome family and the organ the organizing of this just seems like a money grab the, like it seemed like a shameless money grab the art fantastic like the in all aspects art music design everything fantastic management horrible thursday moon stage wasn't even fully set up so they had to swap moon and sky uh so that's why they didn't update any of the maps with that. They updated the app, luckily. Mm -hmm. But if you were to look at the app versus the maps that were around, Moon and Sky Stage were swapped because they were still building Moon, or what was to be Moon, and Sky had earlier sets. So they're like, let's just take Sky. But that also came at the cost of Moon having reduced, apparently they only just figured out like how to properly have all the stuff for the sound last night. So like that's when Moon Stage was really hitting its peak. And now it's just down the drain. Like, yep. it's unbelievable. And like to not have that dialed in before the festival even yeah. started. They they started like, prepping this what a month before, and the amount of like absolutely de car destroying rocks still just like. Oh, dude! They had us park over an ant hill in a wood pile. Dude, <laughs> the first parking spot that they put me in, my car was literally like this. I had to set my car to all wheel drive which is the second time in my life I've needed to do that, to get it out. Yep. The first time was on ice. So the fact that like that's a comparable situation to where they were like, yeah, just park there, you'll be good. Like, Dude, and they parked us in a spot that was like a horrible spot for me because I'm disabled. Mm. And I was like, hey man, I'm disabled. I didn't go to ADA camping so I could be with my friends. Like, do you mind if we move over near this tree over here so that we can be in the shade? And he's just like, no, you have to park here. I'm like, wow. And, and then you give it 20 minutes, they're gone, and you can do whatever you want. That's mm -hmm. what we wound up yep, doing, honestly. Yep. Like, oh, so it was cute. it was me and a group of people. We showed up at the same time. We're like, what's going on? Uh, we That's where I started to figure out, like, the whole traffic thing. Because, mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah, once if you wait, like, two, three hours, we're going to leave. Like, once traffic dies down, you can try to go find a parking spot wherever you want in a different camp. But, like, that's... It's still ridiculous. Like, nobody knew what was going on, management-wise. That's the biggest downfall of this fest, honestly. Yup. Yup. Like, it's, it, I just, like, and the shameless money grab of it, dude. Like, it was $19 for three pieces of chicken tenders that seemed microwaved. In, like, near the I main even, stage. I didn't even bother with the food. Like, I brought my own. I was like, I will make the our trek i will sacrifice a set to to sit for a while eat my food and mm -hmm. comfort, whatever right yep uh not that i'm recommending it but supposedly you might be able to get a refund if you call your credit card for like fraud or something interesting uh, because it ended early and there's a whole bunch of weird stipulations about what's going on right now mm -hmm. so if not a full refund at least a partial on certain things if yep. you bought the tickets straight from the website like if you bought it secondhand you're kind of yeah but i mean it's it's worth a shot you know yeah they, they didn't upkeep their end of the bargain yep in the slightest honestly yep. 10 by 30 parking spots free for all yeah i've kind of just been you know, showed up early, why not? So yep. Then picking up what I can through the... Did you hear that on early entry, they just started letting people in? So if you paid for early entry, you paid for nothing? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, like, which we did. We paid for early entry and that, wasted that's, money. That's, a, that's exactly why. I'm like, because of certain stipulations like that, call your credit card company. Be like, yo, this, this was not... Can I get refund? Like, I'm pretty sure I spend between uh, just gas... Uh, tickets, all that, like twelve hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. It's like if I if I could even get like four hundred of it back, sure, right? Yep. Because like early access, complete sham. Yep. Uh, VIP seems to have been non-existent. Like yep. Uh, not even a free poster. Yup. I couldn't believe that. <laughs> At the I'm, Oregon Eclipse, they gave you a map that was also the lineup that right? was also a poster to take home. I have, I have not been, the only other festival that I have been to with VIP that didn't do that was one called M3F in Arizona. 
But that's understandable because that was 100% charity driven. So all of the money you put into it went to a charity. Like, yeah. So I was like, cool, whatever. I got early entry. I got like VIP access. I didn't get any extra goodies. Sure, whatever, fine. It went to a cause. Mm -hmm. This is like... So you got a VIP ticket for this? Yes. Wow. I, I have wow. four day VIP early entry. Uh, apparently, uh, they were handing out even better, like, you know, it came in the mail, had the, the pot or the paper mm -hmm. glasses, super nice. Apparently they were handing out yesterday, of all, just only yesterday though, uh, VIP lanyards and glasses, like thicker plastic. Yeah, like why didn't you give us those before the festival like, with got, our tickets? In, yeah, I in the mail, I had a huge, it was like, here's the whole thing, and it was just literally nothing inside of it. It was like, here's your ticket, don't put it on, like, don't put your wristband on until... That's how our thing was. It was just wristbands and some fuck off glasses. And I was like, no poster, no lineup, no anything, just use this app and fuck off? Wow. I've never seen a festival do this in my life. Yeah. Like, it's, it's cool to have an app. Like, that's it's totally useful. That only but, works if you have internet access. Which there's not. Even, even if you were to connect to the free Wi-Fi, which did work in some places, mainly the vendor areas, because they had the, their own Wi-Fi's and whatnot, so just easy to tackle on there. Like, the service was, that's another benefit, at least being in Alamo. I could occasionally get a message out, like, if I was up here, because everybody was down there. Yeah. But like, everybody was super close. There was a ton of dead spots everywhere. Yup. Uh, I think my phone is still trying to send messages from like Thursday, honestly. Yup, same. Like, I get, every once in a while Snapchat's just like, yeah, you have 19 loading messages. Please leave the app open. I'm like, what do you mean 19 loading messages? Like, there's nothing left to load. Like, mm -hmm. what what is in the void? What is in the either? Mm -hmm. Also, I really also wish that they put the smaller uh, stages. Like, they, they teased the either sound camp. They put mm. sort of a lineup. Like, they put these people all Yeah, we were really excited for that stage. But there was no further lineup, no further information about it whatsoever. Yep. Then there was a bunch of other small pop-up stands, or stages, that I was just like, where where am I? What is this? This is super cool. And would I do it again? Like, eh, probably. I, I would do a Symbiosis <laughs> Eclipse Festival again. I will never go to a Donnie Disco event ever again for the rest of my life. That's fair. But yep. like, there was so much artistically going on at this venue, even with the, the days that were. Mm -hmm. If you could go back in time three times, you still wouldn't be able to experience it all. Like, mm -hmm. there was just so much. And to cut it early, when that's the dynamic, yeah. it's just like, dude, you've really f***ed up. Like, <laughs> I only just learned that Frick Frack was a thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I was, I totally wanted to gamble some trinkets with, with them. That, that sounds like a blast. Uh, the burlesque show down at Meow Wolf. Total vibe every single day. I was super I, Dude, I today was, was the day I was going to go to Meow Wolf. I, I didn't even so, see it. Oh. I didn't even get to see it. So I will be honest, it wasn't necessarily as great as like an actual Meow Wolf exhibit, mm -hmm. but super cute, like yeah. pop up. The people working there, so kind. Yeah. Like, she's, a, she's a painter, so like it was like really important to us to like go and meet all those people. But like the, the burlesque show, fantastic. I've tried to, I went every single night that I could. Mm -hmm. Uh, <coughs> dust. Uh, that's another thing. They haven't been watering the road. Yeah. No, oh my. When I spent the first two days just going up and down the RV path, like to, uh, my, my turn was actually right here. Like mm -hmm. this was how I would get to my camp normally. Uh, it wasn't until after, like, they started putting up signs for, like, the going through glamping, which you weren't supposed to do anyways, but... And then they opened up Lantern Path, like, so much less dusty, like, so much quicker. Mm -hmm. there, yep. there need to be way more signs everywhere. Yeah. Dude, and, like, the way that the map was also double reversed, did you notice that? The Compass was the wrong way, and it was I, oriented like the wrong way and upside down. I didn't even look at the compass. I was just yep. like, cool. I know roughly, like I just used my own internal compass. Yep. I was like, I know up and down. That is the only two cardinal directions yep. I need to know. My, my brother was in the Navy, and he's like trying to make sense of the map, and he's just like, 
whoever did this was only a graphic designer because this is not a map <laughs> like this is a layout not yeah. a map no that's exactly what it was <laughs> it's a layout like so if you sort of knew where you were you could kind of figure things out but even then it wasn't accurate like exactly the, the bridges the, the where the trees were everything was just like it was kind of a guideline not an actual like to scale yup yup absolute show <laughs> like I just I can't even believe it dude like, but I made it through this as my first camping fest oh yeah so I think I got literally every other camping fest down like yeah oh yeah like electric forest lost lands elements give me way easier like oh yeah some sort of structure yup not just this free for all <laughs> like yup it was a vibe. It was an interesting vibe. Yup. Not a high vibe, 